Hey YouTubers, Angela Tactics here, and today I'll be showing you my 9-digit lock combination with these three safes. It is infinitely expandable and multi-user, so multiple people can use this. And I'll be showing you how it works first, giving you a demonstration, and then showing you the redstone behind it. And unlike my other redstone designs, I do plan on doing an actual tutorial on this. Uh, just not in this video. So, let's get right ahead to it, and I'll try and go as fast as I can so this isn't boring. Top right, middle, then we have middle right, bottom right, middle right, and then bottom right. Okay, and it should open the first safe, and we have diamond in there. Okay, now we can close it by hitting this reset button, and just to prove we can open these in any order, I'm going to go out of order, and go with the third one. Top, top left, top top left, middle left, bottom left. So middle left, bottom left. Now it's going to open the third safe. Okay, now we have gold in there. And I believe the second one stores iron. So bottom, bottom right, bottom, bottom right. Then we have middle right and middle, so middle right, and then middle. And it's going to open the second safe. All right, we have iron in there. So as you can see, all three safes are completely functional. And you could actually make these safes, make an infinite amount of safes, until at least you ran out of combinations to actually use, which that would take quite a while, and I doubt you would ever reach that high of number. But anyways, let's get into the redstone. If you're not interested, just click off. And uh, keep in mind, I do plan on doing a tutorial, so stay tuned. All right, so first of all, here's the inputs. They're just torches on the back of the buttons, and they go into um, these green blocks, which just transfer the data all across all of these RS NOR latches, which are also green. And you have to enter these in the exact right order. As you can see, we have um, a line of four redstone signals. That signals the four buttons, or four inputs you have to press to open any safe. So see, four buttons, inputs for each one. And let me set it to day again, because it's getting a little dark. That's better. Okay, so it goes across these green things, and they're all interconnected RS NOR latches, so it has to make sure that you enter these in the exact right combination. Now, your next question might be, what keeps you from just entering a whole bunch of combinations and eventually getting one? Here's what does that. So every single time you press an input or a button, here's what it does. It sends a signal across these green things, like I've said, but it also sends a signal up to this yellow circuit, which logs how many times you pressed a button. So normally, like I showed, it would take four inputs to unlock a save. So this has five, so if you enter more than four inputs, then uh, it's going to re reactivate everything. So let me show you. One, and I'll leave the uh, I'll leave in the description a link to the guy who showed me how to do this. It's like a redstone counter. It counts how many pulses it receives. Four, and then if the safe's not open, then the person will continue trying and hitting buttons. And once they do, this is going to reset itself, and it's going to also send a signal um, telling this red right here to reset itself also. So this red part is going to reset all these RS NOR latches and the yellow part is going to auto reset so it can continue counting. Alright, so let me just take away this button. And as you can see, once all of these RS NOR latches will be deactivated, it's going to send a signal to any one of these safes telling it to open and that's how it works and for what it is it may seem pretty big but it's pretty compact if you ask me and um, it's a little bit better than the original version of the nine digit safe because of the fact that it keeps cheaters from just pressing all the buttons and eventually getting it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a rating comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the tutorial